Welcome back to the channel, you fucking pussy ass piece of shit. My bad for the delay on videos, guys. My computer got all fucked up, but I think I figured it out. And if you're watching this, then I did. So with all this crazy ass bullshit going on with Russia, I figured we should talk about it on this channel, but we're not gonna talk about fucking politics. We're gonna talk about their death matches. This is a highly requested match. It's Alexander Nabia versus Magadan Cross in a Russian barefoot death match from the quarterfinals of the Slavonic Violence Death Match Tournament. The tournament was held on July 14th, 2018, and against Russia by GCW and not Game Changer Wrestling in America, Gorky City Wrestling in Mother Russia. Let's see what these Russian motherfuckers got. Before the match, we get a promo from Magadan Cross drunk off his fucking ass. I Chris Magadan, Я патриот, короче, особенно люблю свой город. Вот, от этого я назывался так вот, короче, Магадан, короче, вот. А крестом я назывался, ну, это, ну, там, короче, эти, блядь, короче. Историю, сука, надо русскую знать, ёбаный в рот, нахуй, что там творилось, там ебать, что творилось. Пизда вообще полная была. Вот. Короче, 14 июля, нахуй, блядь, мы зайдем за все пределы, насколько это возможно вообще, нахуй. Сейчас, демонстрирую буду. Короче, берешь нахуй вилку, нахуй, и... 14 июля, блядь, будешь себя колечить, нахуй. И 14, сука, июля, нахуй, э... What a fucking promo. Alex also cuts a promo before the match talking about his chances of winning the tournament. Can you rate your chances in the tournament today? I have 100% to win this tournament because I have this saw and this beer called Baltica 9. Uh, best beer in the world, I think. Quite the strong. Strongest. Quite strong as well, yeah. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. Good luck today. You're welcome. We get a shot of the trainer of Gorky City Wrestling talking to the fans in the backyard about this match and he introduces Alexander Nabiev into the match. In the ring, we've got barbed wire around the ropes. We've got all sorts of deathmatch implements. Oh, and here comes the first competitor. The renowned... Alex comes to the ring out of a house that looks like it's straight up out of the fucking Call of Duty series and he's drinking a beer holding a sickle. Like a handheld sickle, very reminiscent of New Jack. Now before this match began, Alex walks around the ring sipping his beer and he goes up and hugs one of the fans and the announcer for this match interviewed Alex before this match and he said one of his biggest influence in wrestling is Necro Butcher. Match. So there we see. Alex walks around the outside of the ring sipping his beer and then we see his boy Sanchez come up with a barbed wire rap guitar. Sanchez, I'm sure he will lend a helping hand during this event. Sanchez starts in a bee of chant and Alex starts taking off his jacket and his shoes. And why not? If there's one place to take an acoustic Fans guitar... Fans break out into a Nabi of Chan as we see him take his shoes off for the match. Violence, tournament of death, I'm sure you'll agree. As the rules dictate, Alexander Nabiev now taking off the footwear. This is, of course, as stated before, a barefoot death match. After Alex has his shoes off, he climbs into the ring. In Naginsk for this event, Slavonic violence. We've seen a lot of action already. Alex takes off his bandana in the ring and we see that the ropes are lined with barbed wire and there's pits of pine cones, thumbtacks, and broken glass. Ah, uh, that's gonna be hard for the eyes. Alex goes up and starts talking to the referee and then he goes over and he starts adjusting all the thumbtacks and pine cones in the pit. Drawing pins. Those are pine cones! Alexander Nabiev is pretty dope that we have Greek God X on commentary too. As you can see in the corner of the ring, there is broken, smashed up bottle glass. Yet another shot of the trainer from Gorky City Wrestling, and he calls Magadan Cross to the ring. Alexander Nabiev's opponent this evening. That is. You see Magadan's boy Bolgo from the promo come to the ring with Russian flags on his head, waving a Russian flag, drinking a beer. He's definitely wasted as fuck again. Bolgo, very patriotic attire for the match this evening. And there he comes. He tries so hard to get a Magadan chant going, and everyone's like, nah, bro, fuck that. Here, 
for Chris Magadan and Igor Bolgov. Igor Bolgov is uh, attempting to get some support, motivating the fans in attendance. We're all ready for some action here. We're all ready for some bloodletting, some weapon shots. Yeah, this dude's fucking some wasted. Extraordinary things. Agadan comes out wearing little mini Russian flags on his head too, and he comes out drinking a beer with a barbed wire bat. To this match, intoxicated, not hiding the fact that they fans start to taunt Magadan, and he takes his beer bottle and pretends he's giving it a blowjob just to fucking piss him off. Appropriate. He's even. He's even. go blow some smoke in their face too. Popping the test. Magadan sets down his beer and climbs up on the apron, and the fans are just hating the fuck out of him, and he's loving it. And if you believe that, you'll believe anything about it being a family show. Okay, Nabiev is ready. Nabiev looks focused in the ring. Magadan is, uh, well, he's having a good time at the moment. Magadan climbs into the ring and shakes his little ass for the dudes on the outside. And I would say in the front row, but this is taking place in a fucking backyard and there's no seat. Wire on that middle rope. Stop twerking on it. As the fans all roast Magadan, he looks over and sees Alex is talking to Sanchez and he sneak attacks him with the barbed wire bat. We're away. A huge weapon hit. The ref tells him to stop, and Magadan's like, nah, suck my dick, bitch, and hits him with the bat. Effects of those shots with the barbed wire. Magadan takes the barbed wire bat and starts digging it into Alex's forehead, and the referee tries to stop it, and Magadan shoves him off. Explain to me what the rule of the referee is in this match. I don't understand. I agree with the guy on commentary. Why the fuck is the referee trying to stop something in a death match? to this match. He's really grinding that barbed wire into the forehead of Alexander Nabi. Magadan takes a single strand of barbed wire off the bat and starts digging Digging it into Alex's oh, oh my god. Cover up, Alexander. Come on. Protect yourself. Agadan holds Alex in a headlock Nabiev with the barbed wire bat to his head and gives him a running bulldog. There's a barbed wire headlock beautifully transitioned into a bulldog. The referee's like, bro, what the fuck? Because Magadan never took his shoes off and he tells the referee Alexander to go fuck Nabiev himself. Does not look in a good way. Hang on. Magadan shoves the referee and then gives Alex a running into Guri. Tell Magadan to take his footwear off. The rules of the match. Magadan waits for Alex to stand up and gives him a shitload of low blows. No wrestling boots, no trainers, no footwear of any kind. In Magadan lays Magadan Alex down and he goes in his shorts and pulls out a fucking way, fork yeah, and he gets on top of Alex and starts shot, stabbing him in the it. fucking forehead with it. Oh my god, he's got the he's got the kitchen utensil, he's got a fork in there. He just shoves that fucking thing right into his face, it's so sick. Digging it, he's digging it, digging it into the forehead and the skull of Alex. Magadan just lays on top of Alex, beating the fork like he's playing patty cake. Oh, it's stuck in his head. It's stuck in his head. finally get a shot of the fork stuck in Alex's fucking forehead, and Magadan's sick ass fucking licks the blood off his head. into a man's forehead for it to just... Magadan grabs the fork and works it into Alex's head even more. You're telling, you're telling me to remain impartial, you're telling me to commentate, do play by play. What, what do you expect? Do you not re expect a reaction from me when I'm, when I'm sitting here watching a man get stabbed in the head with a fork? Magadan grabs the fork and pulls it out of Alex's head and throws it outside Magadan, the room. you're sick. You are sick. This is the perfect environment. Magadan picks up Alex and puts him in the position for a power bomb, but Alex counters and gives him a jawbreaker and then gives him a drop toe hold into the thumbtack. Knees to the midsection. What is he setting up for here? Doesn't matter. Revolt! A reversal by Nabiev. Alex stomps on Magadan's back and then grabs a handful of thumbtacks and puts it on his back and stomps it into him. Was that Alex is like, fuck this, let's go, and puts him in a Boston Crab on top of the thumbtack. Being barefoot. So what, has, has everybody just- Alex is like, wait, this motherfucker still has his shoes on, and gets out of the Boston Crab and takes his shoes off and throws him outside the ring. Reiterates the fact that Magadan is still wearing his shoes, Nabiev beats me to it. And get a shot of Alex standing there bleeding, and then we see Magadan picking thumbtacks out of his hand. Deathmatch. Alex walks up to Magadan and just starts forearming the fuck out of his face and then picks him up for a back suplex and drops him feet first into the tax. Into the chin of Magadan. Ah! Fans break out into a Nabiev chant and we see Magadan picking thumbtacks out of his face. God, the, the pain, the pain that Alex goes over and grabs his sickle and puts it to Magadan's forehead. No! Oh no, oh my god. This is revenge! Alex drives the sickle into Magadan's forehead and starts scraping it across his fucking face and you could see the cuts on his forehead. Oh my god! Ah! Oh. The butchery! The butchery! The insane! 
Alex flicks reason. the blood off of Magadan's head this time. Here. This is insane. This is horrible. You get another shot of Magadan picking thumbtacks out of his feet, and Nabiev grabs a staple gun. Magadan. And the BF Scott. Alex kicks Magadan in the face and gets on top of him and starts stapling the bottom oh of his fucking God. feet. Revenge. Revenge for Magadan starting the match. In his. In Alex his grabs trainers. Magadan's wife eater and puts What's it in his mouth and here? staples it to his Stuck fucking in tongue. Shirts into the mouth. Oh, that's. that's disgusting. Oh, and kicks him. Kicks him right in the face. Alex kicks Magadam, which knocks the white beater out of his mouth, and then he gets on top of him for the pin, but only gets a two count. A near fall, but a kick out. Magadam Alex picks up Magadam and puts him back in the thumbtacks and stomps on his back and then goes for a double stomp. Oh, he missed. He missed the flight. Magadam moved out of the fucking way, and he picks up Alex and throws him into the pine cone. Has got something planned. Oh! Magadan grabs a thumbtack bat and just starts swinging for the fucking fences on Alex's head. An atomic drop into those, into that bed of nature's weapons. This is sick. This is sick. Oh, that bat is covered in drawing pins. Sharp pinpoints. Magadan starts picking shit out of his feet and he grabs a thumbtack bat and knocks the staple gun out of the ring with it. I would have given up a long time ago if I was in the situation. Magadan stands on Alex's leg and gives him a nice whack with the bat and then starts hitting him in the bottom of the feet with the thumbtack bat. Movement of Alexander Nabiev. And at the same time, just having his way with him, just having fun. Magadan stumbles around the ring with the thumbtack bat in his hand and gives Alex Foot a nice whack. To be like Chris Magadan, to just enjoy this type of environment, enjoy this type of situation and this type of match. Magadan puts down the thumbtack bat and he grabs Alex by the arm and puts his hand on the thumbtacks and stands on it. I tell you what, this is difficult to watch. This is, uh, this is nightmare inducing. Magadan punches Alex in the back and then starts kicking him in the chest. Pins are stuck into the heads of both these warriors. Stiff kicks to the torso. How much more have these two... Magadan grabs Alex and lays his body back down in the thumbtack. The ring is... The, the ring is a mess. He stands there and tells everyone, yo, chill out for a second. And then he just punches Alex in the balls for some reason and starts giving him some elbow drops. Driving elbow drops. While Alexander Nab Oh, and a jumping elbow drop and a beauty by Chris Magadan. Magadan picks up Alex and we get a nice shot of the thumbtacks in his back. And Magadan starts fighting his head. It's another day. There's no honor in walking out of here with your health. Injury free. Nabiev. I'm sure disagree. Magadan starts me. talking He's shit to the crowd continue. and they start arguing I back with him and then they break out into a Nabiev chant. Nabiev is not a quitter. Magadan is not a quitter. Put him in a death match. Put him in any kind of hardcore. Someone hands Magadan a big thing of skewers and he takes it out of the plastic and he pretends to shove it up his own ass and then he sticks it in Alex's fucking mouth. What's he, what's he taking out of the packages? Well, there's there's no need for that. Oh. Well, okay, for, for those of you unaccustomed... Magadan sticks the skewers in his mouth and starts pushing it through his fucking cheek. It's so fucking sick. pointed barbecue skewers. He's digging them into the mouth of Alexander Nabiev. This is disgusting. This is wrong. Magadan takes the skewers and puts it into Alex's head and pushes them into his fucking forehead. And we see all the skewers sticking out of his head. I'm sure he's thinking exactly what I'm thinking right now. What have I gotten myself into? Why am I here? Why am I not just at home enjoying a night? Nice Magadan punches the skewers in and then leaves them sticking there. And half of them fall out, but half of them stay in his fucking head. His eyes. The referee is like, holy fucking shit. You skewers stuck. 
protruding from the head of Alexander Nabiev. Magadan starts to pick up Alex and he gives him a knee this and then he sick. picks up the whole pine cone pit and dumps it into the thumbtack pit. This is, this is sick, this is wrong. And now there's a bit. Magadan picks up Alex and gives him a neck breaker pine into the pine cones and thumbtack. Drawing pins. Ah, neck breaker. Looks like Magadan. We get a shot of both men laying in the pit and we see Alex pull a fucking skewer out of his head. Not only the fall into the, the pit of death, but also his legs were entangled into the bottom. We get a shot of Alex laying in the thumbtack and pinecone pit bleeding as the fans chant Nabiev and Magadan gets up and starts a GCW chant and goes for his flat. Look at the array of crap that Nabiev is lying on. All of it sharp, all of it painful, and Magadan misses a leg. Alex grabs a thumbtack bat and goes Sorry, ape shit on Magadan, giving him a receipt for what he did with the thumbtack bat in the beginning. Of your knee hits the ow. Revenge. Revenge. Alex takes the thumbtack bat and just drives it into Magadan's fucking forehead. How much? Alex just beats him with the fucking bat. It's insane. Two men take. Ah! No remorse. Just adamant cruelty. Alex gets hyped up and he goes over and starts looking for more weapons and I just noticed that there's no fucking turnbuckles on this ring. The pain that this man feels only adds to the motion. Someone hands Alex like a giant piece of styrofoam with a shitload of plastic fork sticking out of it and he puts it down on the mat. Crap before the match. Those are plastic salads. Alex punches Magadan and then he picks him up and goes to slam him on the forks, but Magadan counters and picks up Alex and drops him stomach first on the fork. Oh my god, someone's going into the... Stomach first! Stomach first! Stomach first! Alex didn't really get up for the suplex that much, so he holds the plastic forks on his chest and Magadan gives him a drop kick into it. Oh! Basement drop kick! Basement drop kicks those forks further into Agadon gets his to his feet and walks over to Alex as the referee starts moving the weapons out of the ring and the fans break out into an Abiyev chant. Sanchez is looking on, his man is down. Agadon gets on top of Alex and just starts stabbing his fucking head with a skewer. He doesn't want to get in there, he doesn't want to get into, into, into the ring filled with all this crap. Filled with all the sharp objects. Magadan's like, fuck it, bro, let's go. And he gets on top of Alex, and someone hands him a giant syringe, and he sticks a syringe into his fucking foot. Sport of wrestling since 1991, since I was seven years old. I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen anything. Get a shot of Alex's foot, and the syringe is stuck in his fucking heel, bro. What am I looking at now? There's a, there's a needle, there's an injection needle into the sole of the foot. Magadan gets super hyped with a huge smile on his face and he's pointing at someone in the crowd and we're not sure why and then the camera pans over and we see that Bulgo has a shitload of syringes. <laughs> Alex pulls the syringe out of his foot and Bulgo gets in the ring with more syringes, but Sanchez comes out of nowhere and hits him with light tubes. That's what happens. That's what happens when you get involved. Magadan punches Sanchez and power bombs him into the pine cone and thumbtack pit. It's Alex is back on his feet and he picks up Magadan and gives him a sit out DVD into the broken glass. Into the bed of crap. I don't even know what's in that bed anymore. Samoan driver, sit out Death Valley driver into the bed of broken glass. Alex goes for a leg drop on Magadan. He completely missed that leg drop, but he doesn't give a fuck. Momentum whatsoever, he gets straight back up and back onto the Alex starts turning for more weapons and he reaches outside the ring and pulls out a black leather bag and puts it in the ring. He pulls out a giant fucking syringe filled with water and he squirts it and kicks Magadan in the face and then sticks it in his fucking cheek. Kick into the face, into the jaw of Magadan. No, no. When Alex chose to push it through his cheek, the needle actually breaks and he straightens it back out and sticks it through his fucking cheek and squirts the water out. Oh, he fixes it and puts it. 
puts it through the cheek of Magadan. Alex elbows Magadan in the head and then takes a second syringe and sticks it through his other cheek and squirts the water into his own fucking mouth. It's disgusting. Adding insult to injury. Drinking the Alex takes a third syringe and puts that one through his other cheek, so now he's got a syringe in each fucking cheek, dude. Two needles. Is it this is Alex squirts the water out and laughs like a maniac while he does it. This guy's the fucking man. I'm a serious sports journalist. I came here today to give my two cents on what I thought was going to be a serious sport. Magadan's just sitting there chilling with two syringes stuck in his fucking cheeks, and Alex takes a third one and sticks it through his fucking nose. This is beyond my understanding. And, oh. Alex gets it through his nose and squirts the water out. This match is fucking sick. The Alex kicks Magadan in the face who can barely pressure. fucking move because he has he's three syringes in his face and Alex goes over and pours his beer on his head and takes a thing of skewers and starts sticking him into Magadan's forehead. Right here. Nabiyev, the human pincushion. Three needles going through his face and what? yeah, why not, why not? Barbecue skewers into the forehead. Alex takes the skewers and pushes him into Magadan's forehead and then lets him hang and we see the first ever Magadan kebab. You can hear shouts. Alex picks up Magadan and gives him a fucking DDT into the thumbtack and pinecone pit. Enough is enough. But these two competitors, they don't care about the the opinions, the voice. Of others. Magadan holds on to the skewers and tries to pull them out of his head, but can't get them, so the referee pulls him out. Unfortunately or unfortunately, you be the judge. This is where the match gets absolutely ridiculous. Alex goes over and grabs the barbed wire guitar and pours gasoline all over it and lights it, and the thing fucking explodes, and he hits Magadan with it and catches his fucking head on fire. The ring is on fucking fire, the fans are going fucking nuts, it's absolute chaos, and we get a shot of Alex whose pants are on fire, and he's trying to rip them off and jumps into the swimming pool. Thank God! That was so fucking wild, we have to see replays. We gotta see that shit one more time in slow. I slowed it down and zoomed in. Check this out. These dudes are fucking insane. This spot was so fucking dangerous. We get a shot of GCW staff trying to put the fire out, and Alex Nabeev standing in the pool, and the cameraman gives him a fist bump. I'm speechless, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, I've got a job to do here, but I am speechless. That was worse than anything I've seen in, in XBW, in FM. Alex climbs out of the pool in his boxers and starts to make his way into the ring. A flaming barbed wire guitar shot to the head of Krest Magadan. Alex sits on top of Magadan and hooks the leg and gets the three count and advances to the semifinals of the Slavonic Violence Deathmatch Tournament. It, yeah. It's over. Is it over? The referee, the referee holds up Alex's hand in victory and we see Sanchez come in the ring and celebrate with him. Sanchez back in. Congratulating his man, Nabia. Some idiot fan is still trying to give him a keyboard even though the match is over, so Sanchez just takes it and throws it on the ground. The world goes out to you. All the respect in the world goes to Chris Magadan. The crowd goes nuts for what Alex, giving it up with the GCW through. chant. In the name of their sport, in the name of their company. GCW lives. GCW gets stronger. Alex climbs through the ropes and gets on the apron and then jumps off into the grass and we get a shot of Magadan sitting there shaking like a motherfucker, flipping off the camera as Bogo tries to put his shoes back on his feet. Like this. It's because of the heart and the drive and the determination and the love for deathmatch wrestling by people like Alexander Nabiev, by people like Chris Magadan, by companies like GCW. 
Get these men, please. Get these men medical attention. Bulgo gets his shoes on his feet and they start to pick some thumbtacks out of his fucking knee and then help him into the back. They've gone through hell. They've gone through hell. It was difficult to watch, but it's hard not to respect. We get a maggot in chant as he These starts to make his way into the back. Magadan. Magadan. Magadan! Magadan, get yourself fixed up, my friend. I'm sure he will live to fight another day. The camera pans over to Alex, who's just chilling in the crowd there with the fans, putting his own sickle in his fucking it. mouth. He went through hell. He was at a disadvantage at the beginning of the match. Alex celebrates in the crowd, posing and taking pictures with the fans, and that's a wrap on this match, guys. Changed the situation. Survived the disadvantage. And through it all, this is your winner. Alexander Nabiyev! Thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, because I know a lot of you have been asking me to do this match for a while now, so I went ahead and said fuck it, let's go. That match was so fucking insane, and they did it for literally like 30 or 40 people in the crowd, it was nuts. I've read a lot of hype online about Alexander Nabiev, and I really think he's going to be one of the biggest deathmatch stars in the future. The dude's got what it takes, but don't count Magadan now, he took some insane fucking bumps in this match, he deserves a ton of respect too. I know I was poking a little bit of fun at the venue they chose to have this event but i mean hey you gotta start somewhere man they called off this show because the ring was basically destroyed and all the wrestlers were injured and alex burned his feet and legs so bad that all the skin completely peeled off his girlfriend that was filming also got burned by the fire too I went through my analytics and I saw that almost 60% of you guys that watch my videos aren't even fucking subscribed to me bro what the fuck is that like comment share and subscribe motherfucker you see it on the screen some of you already know, I was live streaming myself making weapons over the weekend for the upcoming ARW show, Breaking the Habit, where they had a fans bring the weapons match between Jimmy Lloyd and Sawyer Wreck. You guys should hit up ARW and tell them Blake O sent you, because I really want to start doing some exclusive video stuff with them, but we need to get the ball rolling first and show them that I could bring eyes on their company. They used the fucking thumbtack bat. It was so awesome, and I got all of it on camera. If you want to see it, head to patreon.com slash blako561. You have to put in patreon.com slash blako561 and to your browser it does not come up on the patreon fucking app head there if you'd like to show me some support see uncensored content that youtube's too fucking pussy to let me keep up the events i've filmed and patreon exclusive matches <laughs> You could see insane content like that and more. And that leaves me with my special thank you to my Patreon family. That's the fucking kings. Thomas Sanchez, Wolfie Kohaku, Garrett McNulty, Grant Stoppel, Matt Watts, Damian Edrington, Andrew, Juan Luis Gonzalez, Jack Egan, Crashy, Silent Enigma, Hollow Point, Eben Davies, Benjamin Ailing, CEO, Neo Kniff, Ashmore Cook, Dylan Petricelli, Eddie DeMeo, Yogi Dick, Abdeel, Jeremy McNarley, Doc, Rob Gatewood, Orion Bailey, Martin Guerrero, Javier Rosa Rodriguez, Mr. Biggest Piss, Baker, David R, Chris Graham, KJR, Damo, Derek, Human Horror, Ric Flair, Wack Tulsa, and Owen Me Money. I want to bang every single one of you motherfuckers. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.